machine is equipped with the power apron, so the apron folds uh, with the hoppers. And of course, um, you can set that up so that the apron goes with both hoppers or the hoppers go together or you can run each one of them independently. It all depends how you want to run your machine. It's about 10% higher capacity. The benefit of that is more material in the hopper gives you more time where you can continue paving uh, in your transfer between trucks. Um, we also have more adjustment on our push roll. Push roller it has about uh, six inches more adjustment uh, out, which allows you to interface with uh, a wider range of trucks. We now have a dedicated pump for front wheel assist. So if you just have single drive wheel on that, you get 50% more pull force from that front wheel assist. If you have the all wheel drive system, you get 200% more pull force from the uh, front wheels. If you look at our previous generations of pavers, and it's common in the industry, the first thing you do is you pull into the cooling package, you heat the air up, and then you blast it out underneath uh, the operator station. So you're heating everything up, and it's uh, very noticeable, uh, the temperature on, on top of a paver, whereas this is uh, very cool and comfortable. So we pull air in on both sides in the back, which cools off the deck that the operator's sitting on top of, cools off electrical components underneath, cools off hydraulic components, rubber components. The last thing that it does is go through the radiator, gets pushed out the front, away from the crew. That helps to also push the fumes from the asphalt, which are getting dumped from the truck, away from the crew. So it creates a cleaner, cooler environment for the uh, operators. It also keeps the noise Okay, the noise is more directed away from the paver. We have our integrated direct drive generator. So that generator is uh, 70 kilowatts. Um, when you're just running, heating a base screen, you don't need 70 kilowatts. Uh, so you can run the engine at 1300 RPM and heat that screen up in about 15 minutes. And that's going from 40 Fahrenheit up to 270 Fahrenheit. So, very fast heat up time. It also, because it's direct drive and uh, very efficient, it saves about one gallon per full heat up cycle, one gallon of fuel. It also has uh, diagnostic capability. So when you have an element failure, it will tell you that you have an element failure. If you have an element short to ground, certain types of short to grounds, it'll continue to heat so you don't uh, you aren't shut down for the day, but it'll give you a diagnostic. If you're set up with product link, you could get a diagnostic at your front office or you could have your dealer get the diagnostic so they know, hey, we need to get out to the paver and get that fixed. So then controls wise, we have the turtle and the rabbit. And whatever you have selected there, is what gets used on the pendant. So on the pendant, I can adjust the width of my extension, okay? And this button, when I press it, is gonna use whatever speed I have selected there. From this control, I can also control my feeder system, so I can pause my feeder system or manually override it. Also new on this machine, I can adjust the speed that my feeder system is gonna run when I use that manual override. Within the display, I have integrated cat grade control. So um, I can set that up however I want. Right now it's set up that I can see what's happening on the other side. So if I'm the experienced guy over here, and I wanna keep an eye on that guy over there and help him out if need be. I can see what he's doing over here. Also from the tractor, I can see what they're doing down here. Um, these two little hands here indicate that I'm in manual, so up on the tractor, I might say, hey, you guys need to put it in automatic, or I might decide to help them out, put it in automatic before I take off. But the point is, it's, it's uh, another way to communicate, really. He knows what's going on down here more than he has in the past. I just press the button for the steering wheel, and that selects which station I want to run. So if I want to run this side, I just press the button. And when I do that, all the settings that I had over on this side
transfer over to this site automatically. So that makes it easier to make changes uh, on this wheel machine actually even my turning radius transfers with me so it's easy to switch from side to side and uh, continue on with the job you're doing. We also now have the ability uh, the auto uh, fill system where you press that button and then it'll, it's for starting out in the morning it'll alternate between running the uh, conveyors and the augers to fill the material out to the sensors so that you're ready to get going.